Welcome to the highlights of the Thai Premier League matchup between SCG Mung Tong United and Sapambari in front of a fantastic crowd. Not only the home but the away support was exceptional. Mung Tong of course were led out by Captain Daniel and he was ably supported by Witt Sanasak who continues to deputise for the injured Kawin who's had a terrible season. He is back in the gym but his right elbow is a long long way from being ready and he'll be lucky to start next season. Ben and Austin, the children of the Sapambri FC chairman top were there as mascots and the two captains Suchon for Sapambri shook hands before the South Stand started to get the atmosphere really cranked up. Mung Tong started on the front foot and their passing, their movement, their dynamism and balance was exceptional and in the heart of that was Tirasin Danya, a man of the match performance not only as a goal shooter but a goal provider. Here he had a good chance but that was very smartly saved by the Sapamri goalkeeper Kittipong. However, from the ensuing corner came the breakthrough. Miss hit corner, miss hit shot by Kim, miss hit shot by Danya but in 19 minutes China Rong Tatong scored the decisive breakthrough and remember in recent games Mung Tong have regularly gone behind so this was a real fillet for both the players and the fans. The first person to greet China Rong was Mai who later was to have a terrible time of it after only 39 minutes but more of that later. So the players gathered together for their scoring shuffle, they get everyone together, the linesman tries his best to curtail it but the celebration continues before they return to the halfway line. So a bright and bubbly start with a really crackling atmosphere and a, a real good message to send out to the fans that the club are getting stronger, the players are working better and better together. We see from a different angle as well the speed of movement, the speed of thought of China Rong to get that goal into the back of the net to allow everybody to celebrate. So 1-0 to Mung Tong and they had one or two other chances in the first half. They really did dominate most of the possession and the play. The Poznan was celebrated by the South Stand and again the crackling atmosphere of the evening continued. Tirasin and Mario again matched up. The goal that was gaping but the goalkeeper stayed nice and big. The shooting corner, Daniel ran the ball against the bar and Bos Boscovic cleared. There was a chance for Sapambri, old boy Napat, if you remember, Napat was signed from Samut Songkran earlier in the season, and uh, last season, but didn't play much. But then disaster, 39 minutes, Mai switches off, Diame makes the most of the challenge and gets the penalty when really there was no other alternative for the referee. Mai will be bitterly disappointed with that, he should have just kicked it out. Who wasn't disappointed? Dragan Boscovic who puts it away with real aplomb. He's had an excellent season and a real fine for Sapambri, giving you that physicality and that presence up front. But Mung Tong came straight back. They didn't let that equaliser affect their play. A rather savage free kick from the edge of the area. Mario wasn't able to lift it over the wall, however. On the left-hand side again, where Mung Tong had a lot of success, Daniel was eventually to have a thunderbolt of a shot, saved well, again by Kittipong, who looks a good, solid goalkeeper. This time, Tirasin came down the right side. Most of his work was down the left, but he puts the ball across beautifully, but Mung Tong are unable to score. So that left side third is where Tirasin absolutely destroyed the defenders. Here was a bit of a warning shot for future events as he puts the ball across, but then when the ball comes across to the right, he has a very good chance, he blazes it over, but that's mainly because of the excellent defending by the Sapambri defender. And this is what Tirasin is all about. There appears to be no danger, he gets past one player, he gets past the second and lays it off beautifully for Mario, whose rocket goes into the top corner of the net, and then they prepare you for a lot of security, but do they prepare you for a Macedonian jumping on your shoulders? The security guy was very calm throughout, to be fair to him, but that is the last thing he will have expected. Miss Isles, crowd behaviour, yes, but a player landing on your shoulder, absolutely not. And then they just pump with Eddie Valdo, who finishes off the first part of the celebrations before they get on with their shuffle. So you look here again, wonderful by Tirasin. It's that hip movement, that balance that he has, because defenders know he can go left or right, and later on in the game, for the third goal, you will see that that's what the defenders were thinking. They were too much thinking about the right foot and forgot about the left. The security guard uh, is perfectly fine and remained calm throughout. Mario realises what he's done and unfortunately, of course, he'll pick up another yellow card for his celebrations. I think he's collected more yellow cards for celebrations than he has for his performance on the pitch.
So the players get together, it's 2-1, and Mung Tong continue to go on the front foot. But of course, at the back of the mind is always the fact that recently they've conceded far too many goals and they needed to try and seal the game as quickly as possible. There were more chances to be had, and this could well have been a penalty. It was a very clumsy challenge by former BEC Tero defender Pratt, and he looks very sheepish as he walks away and realises he probably got away with one then. However, yet again, Mario and Tiresin, with that wonderful connection that they have, appears to be no danger at all. The defender's thinking he's going to go on to the right foot, but he puts it to the left, and on 84 minutes, there is Sarawak to kill the game off. That was such a vital goal, because at 2-1, with the amount of draws that Mung Tong have had lately, it would have been a very uncomfortable last six minutes. So you see again with Tiresin, the defender's expecting him to go to the right, he immediately goes to the left, and the three defenders are stood and then watch Sarawak put the ball into the net with real grace and skill. A really good performance overall by Mung Tong, but without Tiresin, there wouldn't have been that element of magic that set everyone else off. Daniel comes to celebrate, the goal scorer and the goal provider, and it's a good evening's work in front of a wonderful atmosphere, but not forgetting, of course, what Supambri gave. Mario went off with a few minutes left, Daxacorn came on, and he was able to show his party piece, and just wind the clock down to show that he's still a hungry player. Of course, he lost four kilos last season and is looking much, much fitter and a very good man to bring on towards the end of the game. There was chance for one or two more efforts on goal by Mung Tong, but the structure and the discipline remained strong throughout. There wasn't any kind of nerves at the end, which there often are in these kind of games. A beautiful shot by Tourism, a marginal decision for offside there, uh, but probably the linesman got that right. But the players moved just a little bit too quickly after the save from Tourism's shot. So, the game ended, a really nice performance and a really good effort by Mung Tong uh, in difficult situation. So the goal scorer, Chan Rong, thanked the fans for all their support. He talks about the idea of how happy he was, of course, to score that goal and how they all count, doesn't matter if they're not spectacular. And he also talked about the fact that this game was not about looking back on Mori Rao. It was concentrating on this game only. It's really important that the players apply themselves. Remember the amount of draws they've had recently, the three draws that they've had. These three goals really will banish some of those difficult memories of games that they should have won, particularly against Bangkok United. The fans behind him started to chant his name and he was delighted to hear that. It's something that all the fans love to see, a player that's working hard, a young player coming through the ranks and getting to the first team to score. And he thanked them for their support there and he wise and claps them to say how much he appreciates their support. So, overall an excellent evening for Mung Tong, but you have to give credit to Sapambri. They've added a great deal to the Thai Premier League with their fan support and their wonderful players and development as a club. Well.